started. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nicole Ferry. I'm an assistant professor at the Copenhagen Business School, and I am chairing this Rebooting Equalities session today. So we've got three uh, papers, and um, first up is Yari. Um, I'll let him introduce himself, but as, as we know, um, if you've been to any other sessions, it's going to be 15 minutes of them talking and then 15 uh, minutes of Q&A, and that will go for each paper. So um, uh, go ahead, Yari. Okay, thanks, thanks. Uh, so hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yari Ylitalo. Uh, I, I'm, I'm from Aalto University, Finland. Uh, and and uh, working there as a uh, university lecturer on leadership, uh, uh, teaching mainly to tech students at the Department of Industrial Engineering and Management. So, and uh, today my topic is uh, personal development experiences in in management education, and uh, more precisely, I'm going to present. Uh, uh, the, the early findings of preliminary findings from a case study concerning uh, personal development uh, uh, from personal development module of, of, of an MBA program. Uh, some time ago, I was I was asked to design and deliver this kind of special specialized model of, of personal development in our MBA program. It was mandatory model in two year part time MBA program and. Uh, and and uh, the aim was, aim was participants <clears throat> as, as, uh, in, in, the, in the personal development and uh, some design attributes to this kind of uh, idea to create a process not just uh, uh, some kind of uh, short module <clears throat> that is personal uh, and 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 not just uh, focusing on individuals but is kind of relational and contextual you as well uh, and uh, and 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 not just raising awareness and knowledge, but but really uh, creating experiences of, of, of change and improvements. And, and that way, uh, uh, building on experience and reflections. And and, uh, and, and then the idea was also uh, also to that strongly kind of facilitate the process uh, inst instead of, uh, of teaching the facts. Uh, and this is the illustration of the process so that uh, it, it lasted 40 months so it was pretty ex uh, extending qu quite a bit along the, uh, the program and it consisted of uh, three three stages so there were first analysis uh, which was kind of four months uh, and, uh, and and the participants were asked to, uh, to scrutinize and, and analyze their uh, not just their thinking or values and and and, and leadership uh, principles but but uh, also the uh, everyday practices, self-management, well-being, and, uh, and and their professional relationships, and uh, and then they were asked to go and ask feedback, uh, not through any 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 feedback uh, uh, method, but but through dialogues, and also make the change uh, first change experiments, and then there was additional kind of supportive readings, and uh, and this analysis phase uh, was. Uh, uh, ended to to development plans, which they started to implement in this next action phase, which lasted eight months. So and uh, and the idea was to make a small step changes in their chosen practices. And in the beginning of this action <clears throat> phase, uh, uh, peer groups were also formed to support to create kind of. Uh, uh, this kind of close circle to to support and and reflect on the, the experiences and the peer groups were had meetings every month and uh, and and finally in the end of uh, this action part which lasted eight months there was a reflection part starting which was kind of summing up and reflecting and building kind of uh, continuous developmental plans and 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 enforcing the practices and <clears throat> and they were four collective workshops, only three hour workshops throughout the process, and then some uh, coaching uh, sessions and uh, and, and uh, six assignments all together, which formed in the end uh, one one document. So that was that was kind of idea of the process. And I was interested to, to uh, investigate the experience so that that uh, what made uh, to, uh, to experience meaningful. And, and so I chose to interview those who 
uh, reported positive impacts and meaningful meaningfulness of the experience as a whole. And and, and so I uh, six months after the process, I interviewed twelve of the of the participants. And now I have been <clears throat> doing the, the, this kind of first analysis round, and I will present you the, the first findings. Uh, and so that was uh, uh, analysis was guided by three questions: uh, how the, the, the program, uh, what was the impact on concerning the personal development, what was the kind of experienced and perceived uh, impacts, and then. The second question was about the impact factors. So what was experienced to, 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 to be the most significant impact factors? Uh, and then finally, how this process of personal development uh, was experienced as a part of the MBA process. <clears throat> and so uh, the, the impacts, uh, the first category uh, was that, that they, they, they expressed that there was a broader, deeper and stronger awareness and sense about oneself and own relationality. And of course, it's quite natural uh, outcome that uh, when you start to scrutinize your own, own, own thinking in ways that, that, that will, you become more aware. But it was also that it was, it was awareness of, uh, of your values, your thinking, your even the mission, in, in in life, in a way, what you what you what are your aspirations? But also, uh, there was strongly this kind of uh, relational and contextual aspect that that, that uh, uh, becoming more aware of your own influentiality, how others perceive you, and 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 how you sensitize this kind of reflexive, uh, certain increased re reflexivity as well. Uh, and and so, but but also uh, seeing the people around me and. Uh, and what do I really want for myself? And what is my contribution to the society? So there was this kind of revelation also to the wider perspective. And then um, there's quite strong emphasis on this, looking at this kind of everyday practices. And, and, and there was quite strongly reported uh, new practice or improved practices on reflection, self-management, and well-being. And this well-being aspect was maybe uh, well, it's it's pretty fashionable at the moment, I guess. But uh, but but still, there was quite quite big impacts on 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 personal practices, and this created kind of uh, positive cycles as well. That then when they uh, uh, were able to make uh, kind of uh, improvement steps, then it it feed it to, to to make them more. And the third. There was stronger commitment and competence on, on continuous self-development. So they learned to develop. So that was kind of learning this kind of meta practices, taking small step changes and, and creating more kind of control. Uh, yeah. and, 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 uh, and, and in, in a way to uh, better kind of self-efficacy feeling. And then broader perspectives at work and more generally in life, which is quite normally from from this kind of program that that your business perspective is broadened and 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 become more strategic but as well there was reporting that uh, uh that that uh, that other perspectives in life and work was also uh turned to be meaningful so that was about uh to impacts and and now about uh, impact factors the first one was this processual nature of the the whole whole thing so that it was uh, long enough to make changes and I think this quote from changes don't happen overnight and you also need moments to process and digest. So that was something supporting that, that it was long enough. That was my worry a bit that it's, it's, it's it, uh, can we keep it alive? But it was, it was also kind of systemic and, and connected to context and that personalized, uh, it was very strongly personalized. And there was kind of recursivity as well, that that people were asked to 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 look back and, and, and read their first, uh, essays and then compare how they uh, thinking had changed. Then it was very strongly based on reflective conversations uh, in, in various ways uh, and most impactful were reported to be the coaching sessions and also the, the peer group uh, sessions. And uh, then this uh, deliberate experimenting and experiencing was one one impact uh, factor that was mentioned to be that that you did something uh, did, did these changes and 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 get experiences and then 
uh, these these uh, six essays that that consisted of the whole 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 documentation that it's reflective writing is is uh, a slower but you have to think and uh, and and that was mentioned to be impactful and then <clears throat> uh, and also there was kind of uh, uh, Four articles, two books, and 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 uh, uh, and well-being concept to, uh, as as a tool to uh, to support and these uh, <clears throat> different uh, theories and and theoretical input was okay. There was quite variating. Uh, it was a little bit variating who who benefited from which which article, but but. Uh, but uh, in, in general, it was mentioned that it, it framed and gave gave food of thought and and, and reference frames for for your own writing, and and so that was kind of illustration of 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 the impacts. And of course, it, it the process as a whole uh, was was kind of systemic and in in a way the different uh, elements were uh, resonating with its with each other and created. Uh, to, to prose. And the final third question was that uh, how the personal development module was experienced as part of the MBA process. Uh, somehow that was interesting that that that, that the, the SPDP process supported to personalize <clears throat> and contextualize the general MBA knowledge. So it was somehow somebody said that uh, in, uh, in in normal MBA model you you talk about leadership and entrepreneurship in third third person mode. But but in PDP it was First person, and then it was personalizing to, to, to knowledge, and uh, then it was also kind of integrator that it supported to integrate the MBA program uh, as, a, as a learning experience, tied it together, and then uh, the peer group discussions relations were kind of intimate cells within the whole cohort, and and it was said that they were. Uh, theory could share your uncertainties and your vulnerability, and 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 it it was it was building a very close and trusting relations at 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 best, and that was uh, experienced to 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 resonate also that improved the discussion uh, within the whole cohort as well, so that they uh, get more trusting relations and and more more sharing, uh, deeper sharing uh, within the whole cohort. And then uh, it was it was felt or mentioned to be as a fundamental element in and personal leader development within the NBA. So that that was critics that is through the substance course you don't learn leadership. And finally, some uh, conclusions. Uh, somehow I would I would, I would argue that that uh, uh, by adding this kind of uh, personalizing. And, and socially and reflectively integrating elements as a part of the management education program uh, that could really uh, improve the impactfulness of the pro whole program because then you there could be a place for meaning making, identity building, and so forth more than maybe in traditionally MBA there are. And then uh, the peer relations and peer sharing uh, was was really strong impact and and, and strongly uh, stated uh, influence factors here uh, in this case and and so it could be a potentially a strongly impactful element to support the personal development growth and then there's the process processual view the longitudinal and processual approach uh, seemed to enable sustainable impacts that it, it lasted long enough uh, and then this this small step improvement experiences. Uh, seemed to be meaningful that 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 somehow people were it was connected to kind of everyday practices and 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 somehow to those things that are kind of uh, I should uh, think I should do something with my physical thing or I should sleep better or something like like this very very kind of tangible stuff and when there was improvements this it it, it kind of committed uh, uh, and and built a stronger kind of developmental self efficacy. And then in the end, so uh, it's kind of oxymoron. Personally, development seems to be highly personal. So uh, meaning that there was in the, among these 12 persons, for example, there was really big differences. Uh, and so the differing developmental interests and capabilities, personalities, life situations are, are reality here. So how to build a process that is uh, that is at uh, same time inviting, enabling, adequately challenging. That's that's. That's a good point, but I think all in all, this was uh, 
interesting and meaningful. Maybe this was pretty much confirming knowledge now, would we know already, but but uh, I think there were some elements uh, that could be uh, uh, kind of worth uh, developing further. And now, of course, this, this is now the first findings in a way, and, and it would be nice to, to hear your ideas and tips how to develop the study further and, and what could be the deepening and the more theoretical viewpoints. But on my behalf, thanks. Okay, yeah, right on, right on time. I didn't even have to, okay, great. to give a warning. Um, great. So um, we'll now open it up for questions from um, any of the participants. I, of course, have some, but I'll let others speak first. Yeah, Steve, Stephen. Uh, yes, um, I really took away one of the biggest things was that you um, talked about first person versus third person mm. and how intimate that was. And I teach a course very similar to that for senior undergraduates. And that's one of the things that I've noticed uh, the personalization of this knowledge, the intimate level at which they're applying it in their lives. And uh, I wanted to ask you um, about training for the peer group and how you structure the process itself uh, pedagogically. Uh, those are a couple of questions I had. And then I did have a couple of comments, which I'll, I'll, uh, I can go ahead and just give those to you, which is, I don't know if you've heard of the University of Michigan Reflected Best Self Exercise. Mm. Um, but that's a really good exercise that I use um, that's a reflection of how other people see you um, yeah. uh, to get at strengths and weaknesses for the folks that seem to struggle with having perceptions. And then and then I was going to ask you if you do more of a structured or unstructured reflexivity uh, in terms of uh, like an after action review or anything like that. Um, uh, so I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, concept but um anyway i just wanted to ask you about the training and the and how you structure it yeah actually uh i think there's this is a very good exercise now to try to document what 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 i did because there's a lot of kind of tacit stuff as well because of be, being a teacher a long time but uh, so my my basic uh, uh thinking is is very dialogic in that sense that that allowing persons to really to to ask questions, what what do you think, and 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 then then why do you think this way? What may what's your evidence and so on? That so that's one one basic thing, and 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 then concerning this peer peer work, it was kind of uh, uh, we we had certain coaching exercises and 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 created this kind of peer coaching. Uh, uh, kind of concept for them to that that which could, they could apply in their peer peer meetings but of course i didn't have any 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 control how did how did they do that and and uh, i i think most mostly it was uh, there was a variation how, how the peer groups were starting to work but uh, and and uh, it, it turned to be for most or some of those that they were really a kind of even a therapy sessions because of course they have a lot of pressure uh in in when when working and and studying and uh, having all these ideas of, of of how to be how to be better leader and 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 uh, uh and, and and so forth uh and uh and this reflexive and reflective uh exercises were pretty much the, in in workshops we uh we we uh had this this let's say not so structured way but more kind of Di sharing dialogues and that could maybe could could be more structured in a way because the workshop experience wasn't so uh, uh, reported not so let's say strongly meaningful in that sense i'm not sure if i have responded to your, your, your question anyhow but but that was that was kind of the approach oh yeah that was great thank you okay thank you okay we have a question from suzanne Hi, Yari. Thank you so much. That was uh, super interesting. Um, I'm running a development program, a multidisciplinary one for some selected students across the university, and I see some overlaps and I, I really, really enjoyed listening to um, to what you do and that longitudinality is so important, right? Um, so I have two questions, if I can indulge the chair. Uh, the first one is, you know, the experimentation, experiential and experimentation side of this, 
I, I'm wondering what kinds of things students did. Were they all, are they all part-time MBAs? So they're working yes. right now and they could experiment right in their jobs. Yes. So maybe, and then, and then my second question, just in the interest of time, I'll let you answer them both together. But, you know, I'd love to hear some examples of, of what kinds of things they brought to their work and how they experimented. So, because to me, leadership, yes, it's personal, but it's also that outward focus that's critical, right? Can you can you work with others? Can you collaborate? Can you, you know, those outcomes are are um, also really key, at least in my my program. And then the second question is the diversity of the cohort and uh, also of the number of folks um, that you, you know, the, the 12 that you interviewed. Um, is there age diversity, gender, racial, ethnicity, language, all those things, you know, all of our schools uh, benefit from this wonderful diversity. And I just wondered what you would say about that and whether over time you might see some uh, some learnings there as well. Thanks. Yes. Thanks so okay. much. Thank you. Uh, this <clears throat> the first uh, uh, concern with these practices. So there was three three areas. Uh, first, uh, kind of personal working practice. This kind of self management. How you manage your time. How you how you uh, build your agenda. And 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 so that, that that's one one thing. Uh, uh, what was kind of practices. Then the second one was well being practices because we used this. Uh, we had a certain well-being concept with kind of holistic view that that how you well your nutrition uh, recovery and and uh, physical activity and so on because this is this is the area where you can get great benefits for a short time to to pay attention to that that and uh, and then 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 there was social practices so that 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 uh, they did this kind of relational inquiry meaning that they analyzed their own relation professional relationship at first what was working what was not working how they what were their questions and then they were asked to go and have a dialogue with their chosen partners and not having a 360 to, uh, but really have a dialogue about the collaboration and 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 that was that was one thing and and find this kind of more relational aspect as well. What we can, how can we improve our collaboration? And and that was that was one one area. And then choose this kind of small step changes. What you can do? What is the small step you can take? And then start taking those and reflecting and reporting. And and that was that was the idea. And and advancing in those those three areas, at least. And that that created quite quite many positive cycles in that sense. And concerning this diversity, this was uh, uh, there was. Five, five female, seven, seven male here, and uh, age range was from 26 to to 43, I guess, and uh, and and then there was uh, most were Finns, but there were also uh, uh, some cultural diversities to uh, to to uh, to kind of non Finns, uh, and that created actually within the uh, the MBA cohort as a whole, there was more more international. Uh, uh, I, I think some ten for non fins and that created nice nice cultural mix as well. And of course, I haven't looked at that 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 aspect so much in this this study yet. But but there's of course interesting to to see how females and males maybe maybe see differently uh, that the personal development and 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 so. But that that I haven't haven't yet done because it's also interesting now. I have opportunity to interview these these people uh, once more. So what was happened in two years time and 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 there I could take a more this kind of person person based view. What kind of uh, developmental types there are, and then look this diversity issues maybe more, more than then. But that that's that's a possibility. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any other questions? If uh, if not, I'll I'll ask one. Um, mm -hmm. So thanks for the presentation and and um, my question. Um, ask you to expand even more on what the other two people asked you to expand on, which is the idea of thinking about the self in relationship to others. Um, so do you have them do any work? So okay, let me back up. When I talk to my students about identity or the self, um, I teach a lot of diversity classes. And we're usually thinking about that in relation to the socially constructed nature of kind of the self, like gender as a social construction, those kinds of things, right? Do you have them do any kind of that work or look at power and privilege and things like that when they're thinking about how
how you can even begin to engage in dialogue for things like that? Uh, no, not exactly. But but it, it came up uh, actually in the, in the in the reflections. For example, one one female uh, participant really uh, said that it is it is a huge impact for for her to to that's a kind of emancipating thing through the whole MBA, not just this PDP uh, uh, work, but but kind of expanding the view that that how its own thinking has been limited as as females and and within the cohort they have been. She reported that they have been sharing quite a bit of this. This how the, how the female tend to limit themselves uh, and and censure, the, and and not see the opportunities in a similar way, and that, that they, they had kind of emancipated from that perspective. But I think it's it's very crucial. Uh, I would add that that uh, uh, that more deliberately this this inclusion and 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 diversity and 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 such. But there are I think that that those issues were raised more and more uh, also uh, by, by the participants as well and and, and somehow concerned uh, yeah. but but I, I think it's, it's a very important uh, aspect to 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 add and we are doing that in our master master level undergrad under undergraduate courses more good yeah I mean I, I don't expect every every program to do everything uh, I just but I, you know. I, when we talk about leadership and, and leader development so it is we, we talk about responsible agency that it's 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 something to, or morally responsible agency that it's it's something that you are accountable every time you have in your relationship and so on and and becoming aware of that and 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 how how to be one it's, it's i think it's a very pivotal great great any last questions minutes, but we may just move on no? all right thank you yari uh, okay. Well